Hello guys and welcome to Code with Vijay. My name is Vijaynath Vishwanathan. So this is a very uh, quick and simple uh, video on uh, you know, how to create Lambda function and how to deploy a Lambda function using open source uh, serverless framework. So we are going to create a very uh, simple Lambda function that will return a, you know, a mock response. Uh, but instead of creating that Lambda function uh, using AWS console, we'll create it with you know using serverless framework and we'll deploy it uh, using serverless framework from our local machine instead of doing everything in uh, AWS console. So this is pretty simple video. Uh, you know the very basics on you know create basics on creating and deploying a Lambda function using open source serverless framework. So uh, this is the website of serverless uh, framework that is serverless.com. And you can see the documentation here. Uh, basically, serverless framework is a CLA tool that allow users to build and deploy their uh, functions. Basically, ser serverless functions. Okay, so we don't need to uh, you know log into uh, the cloud uh, console or you know if you are using AWS, then you don't need to log into AWS console to create uh, and uh, deploy your Lambda function. You can create everything in your local machine. Okay, and you can install. Basically, you can deploy, uh, you know, directly from from your local machine to uh, cloud. You now I'll show how to do that. Okay, um, uh, you need Node to be installed in your machine. If you haven't installed Node, uh, just please go and install that because we have to uh, install an npm package uh, that is you know a serverless npm package uh, for the scope of this this uh, course. So if you haven't installed it, uh, please go and install node package. I mean, sorry, node. So first things first, uh, let us install a serverless package. Okay, open your uh, node command prompt and npm install. We need to install that in global scope. That's a G and say serverless. Okay, that will um, install your serverless package. It will take uh, you know a few seconds. Sometimes you know if you if you are installing the very first time, it will take a couple of minutes as well. So let us wait, and you can see uh, the installation has been completed. You can see here updated to packages. The reason because I've only installed uh, serverless before. If you're installing it in very in it for very the very first time, then uh, it will download the complete packages. It will take a couple of minutes. Um, so anyway, now our package has been installed. So the next thing to do is to create uh, an IAM role. Basically, we need a user to connect from uh, here to AWS through serverless framework. For that, we need a user and we need to attach a role, basically a permission to that user. Also, we need a role to run our Lambda function. Okay, so we have to create a user and a role. Let me go to IAM. IAM stands for Identity and Access uh, Management. And there, first let us create a user. Okay, user name. Let's say serverless demo. Okay, and we need Program programmatic access because you know we are connecting from our local machine using serverless framework uh, to cloud for that we need uh, an access key id and a secret access key so let me select this one access type is uh, programmatic access that will generate both of this access key id and secret access key next permissions okay attach uh, the permission uh, basically the policy okay, i'm going to give full administrator access now uh, you know for the sake of this course but when you are doing in real time uh, you shouldn't select uh, full administrator access you can uh, select your permission according to the way you want okay next review and create user okay it will generate access key id and secret access key okay. copy this because this is the only time you can get this information you know you can down download that as a csv as well here if you're not saving that uh, this time then you'll not be able to see uh, it again so please make sure that you have saved uh, both the secret k 
key id i mean the access key id and uh, secret access key save both of that now we have created uh, the user the next thing we need to do is to create a role and that role is to is the permission to run our lambda function okay let us go and do that now okay let me go back to aws console again and i am and select roles here let us create a new role click on create role and the role we need is to execute a lambda function so select lambda and next permissions okay i'm going to give full lambda permission yeah aws lambda full access next review and role name that is serverless demo that's role name create role okay you can see uh, here the role has been created and we need this uh, role air and letter so let me copy that and save it here so now we have created uh, the role as well and the next thing is to start start building our uh, lambda function in our local machine using serverless framework okay so let us go and do that now the code editor i'm going to use is visual studio code but you can use any uh, code editor according to your wish but i find visual studio code is you know pretty a nice decent tool uh, so let me navigate to my project folder okay and see code dot that will open visual studio code and uh, you can see here uh, we don't have any uh, project files and let us create the template uh, using serverless framework it's pretty very easy to do i'll show how to do open your uh, node command prompt again and make sure that you are in the project folder that you that you need to create your project okay and type serverless create okay and the project template we need that to be in uh, node.js so i've selected node.js and you can see it it has been uh, successfully created the boilerplate uh, for the template node.js and you can see here it has created a yml file and a handler function so handler function is our uh, lambda function and y yml file is the definition and that will you know that only will uh, create uh, the lambda in aws console based on this yml definitions okay so let us clean up a bit I don't need this one and the stage is dev you can give uh, you know the stage you want to be you know if you're if you're building for your system test or you know uat then you can uh, specify uh, that stage here okay but the template will remain same the stage will change and if you want to deploy in another region you can you know mention that uh, region as well here okay and the next thing we need to uh, add here is the role we have created to run this uh, lambda execution okay so you you remember that we have created a role and we have you know uh, copied that okay basically that role we have to uh, specify here okay and the role we have copied is this one okay now the role is ready and you can see the function here and you know uh, basically we can give a function name serverless demo and this is the handler function that refers to this uh, function over here okay let me delete this one we don't need this one okay so let me rename that uh, function to uh, say first serverless and make sure that you change here as well okay save it and let us return a sample a hard-coded message this is my first serverless okay save it so now everything is ready and the code is ready and the next thing uh, to do is to deploy the code okay so let us do that next open your node prompt again and uh, the first thing to do is we have to set up 
the config the serverless config with the secret key that we have uh, created before okay so let us do that serverless config credentials and the provider is AWS okay and the key that we have generated before is this one okay and the secret okay and you know if you have already created a config before for some other functions and if you want to override with the new settings we can say override it will override the previous settings with this uh, secret key okay and uh, that has been successful now we are all set for the deployment it's pretty very pretty very easy to do let's say serverless deploy okay so that will deploy the lambda function that we have created to aws it will take a couple of minutes let's wait for that so now you can see uh, you know it has been deployed successfully we did not get any error it means you know that has been deployed uh, successfully and this is the function name uh, it will create so let us go and uh, check in aws console so here let's go to lambda so this one this is the function which has created let's go and check the code okay and you can see that is exactly the same uh, response that we have given okay let us test that so create this test event okay give a test event name say test and create and test it it should return yeah it has returned the sample uh, the hard-coded response we have given so it means we have successfully created the lambda function using serverless framework and you know we have created from our local machine and we have deploy deployed from from our local machine to aws cloud instead of creating everything inside aws console okay so so okay this uh, this uh, you know very as i told before uh, it's a very uh, quick introduction and you know that will um, help you to understand how we can create a lambda function and how we can deploy it using serverless framework instead of doing everything in uh, aws uh, console okay so that is pretty much guys and thank you very much for watching please don't forget to subscribe my channel so that you will get notification when i upload new videos Th thanks once again and um, have a nice day